Hey y'all, it's Tiffany with Rifty Tiffany and I am back with a different type of video today. I have had a lot of requests wanting more information on the condo that we that we rented when we went to Panama City Beach. So I made up a whole little, I got a whole little reminder sheet right here for me. I'm gonna go over several things because I am a single mama and I budget when we go on vacation and just some tips and pointers if you are trying to book a condo, if you're trying to go out of town, if you're trying to go out of town on a budget. Um, we all have different budgets, so it might not work for you depending on if your budget is smaller or if you it's more extravagant. But um, usually in the summers, I plan a beach trip. You gotta go to the beach. And usually it's around my birthday in July. This time we made it earlier just because all the quarantine stuff, we were ready to get out of the house, y'all. So we had planned the trip the first week of June. Um, and that was actually a pretty good time. So when when I start to plan a trip, if if I'm not flying, Panama, we live in Atlanta and Panama City is five hours so definitely we could drive it's a road trip for us the kids actually don't mind riding in a car I have three teenagers uh, 17 15 and 13 so everybody has phones you know you can get in the car get you some snacks and drinks and everybody's good we literally stopped like we left when we left here we went and grabbed biscuits we, we always grab biscuits either chick-fil-a McDonald's whatever it is grab biscuits Fill up the tank, so we go to the gas station, get either, so we went to QT, we got ices and snacks. They get an icy, a bag of chips, and a candy. So something sweet, something salty, and a drink. And then we go get biscuits. So then once we leave Atlanta, we don't stop until, we didn't stop until three hours in. So we stopped, got us, um, went to the bathroom, got us a drink or something else that we needed. Um, and then we, that was it. So we literally stopped one time in five hours, which we can do that. It's, it's easy for us. I know if you have a little or ones, it's kind of hard to go that long of a route. Um, but so I, when we go to the beach so far, every time we've went to a beach, it's been Panama city in the summer. So it's somewhere that we can drive. So my first thought, okay, let me save, but I want to save enough since I'm not paying for flights and gas was $25 filled up. I have an SUV, I have a Kia. I have an SUV and it was $25 to fill up. Yes, gas is actually decent prices right now. So I paid $25 to fill up and I didn't even have to stop and get gas. So that's your cost right there, $25. Then um, for the condo, so what I do is when, I, when we go to the beach, I don't like to get a hotel to be honest. Um, and I, especially Panama City, I don't like to just stay at a hotel. I want to get a condo with a full kitchen because when you have teenagers or kids, they eat a lot and there's no way we can eat out breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks. It would cost so much money. So I've always, always got a condo and made sure it had washer and dryer and a full kitchen because if you have washer dryer and a full kitchen, you are set to go. You can pack up food. If you don't want to pack up food like I did, if you go back and look at that, um, uh, I believe I did a grocery haul in the condo. If you don't want to bring stuff, Panama City, if you're actually looking for just going to Panama City, that's kind of what I'm going to be talking about. Um, they have a huge Walmart and where we were staying. And the name of the condo, like big place, is called Shores of Panama. So it's called Shores of Panama and you can rent, uh, their condos are owned by people. I rented mine through Airbnb, a really sweet lady named Jill through Airbnb. And I have her link and her link will be down below so you can definitely get this room. It's amazing. Now the prices are different. The price I paid is probably gonna be different than next week, the next week, because deeper into the season, it's gonna get more expensive, y'all. It is a stunning, view stunning it's on the 16th floor way up you got and it's a corner unit and it is overlooking the ocean so wow so you if you want to it depending on your budget you can go in off season or in season i'm not sure how booked she is but i will put the link below so you can just check it out um and we stayed four nights and i went during the week because during the week 
was cheaper than the prices on the weekend. So again, anytime you book at a beach, it all depends on if it's in season, if it's on the water, because you can get cheaper places off the water. But my whole thing this year, I want it to be on the water, on a balcony. I wanted the balcony, I wanted on the water. So that's what we did. So price range here. So my goal for vacation, I, there's four of us. There's me and three teenagers. We didn't fly, so I didn't spend any cost on flying. I literally spent 50 bucks on gas. That's 25 going down there, 25 coming back. Um, once you get to Panama, you don't really have to drive around. Can you? Yes. But where the shores of Panama was literally next door to Pineapple Willies, where you can get those nice daiquiris. I know I posted pictures on Instagram. Nice daiquiris. And if you want to check me out on Instagram, it's thriftytiffany35. You can see pictures of the ocean, how gorgeous it is. Panama City has turquoise water. It's gorgeous. Uh, white sandy beaches. It's right beside Pineapple Willies. You can even see the drinks that I had on my Instagram. Really, I love it. We go every time. And I get a shirt every time I go. Um, and then right across the street is Waffle House. Well, Waffle House is kind of on the same side. But Waffle House, uh, Walmart, Dollar Tree. Yes, Dollar Tree is in Panama City. Is it a huge one? No. Is anything exciting? No. But guess what? You can pick up foods and cereals and shaving cream and uh, conditioner and shampoo and all of those things that you may need, Dollar Tree is there. So if you don't feel like going shopping or if you don't have the room in your car to pack up the food, um, wait and go down there. Because again, Walmart, they have it. Dollar Tree, they have it. So perfect. And that will work out perfect. So me with four kids, my usually the amount is around a thousand a thousand to fifteen hundred for a vacation we're talking about a week-long vacation well five days four nights four nights not a whole week that's that's a lot but um i try to stay around a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars if it's your once like your big vacation of going to the summer vacation of going to the beach I would, and you're driving there, you're not paying for um, airplane tickets, you're not paying for anything, uh, renting a car or anything like that. Let me tell you what's involved in this price. So I rented this uh, condo on Airbnb and I picked the cheapest time I can go, which was during the week. I went Monday through Friday. That's five days, four nights. So what was included in that? When you book with Airbnb, you're booking someone's condo. So someone owns that, they have to pay for a cleaner. They have to pay, you know, the, the service fee for Airbnb. So sometimes it can be more pricey, but sometimes it's a really good deal, especially if you have a family. If you need the washer and dryer, if you need a full kitchen, if you need a full refrigerator, like all of that, it's definitely worth it. Um, so I believe I paid around 200 a night. Now in that 200 a night, Again, when I when I booked, I booked beforehand. I booked when Florida kind of opened itself back up after COVID. So I tried to book at the time that it was the cheapest that I could find it. And it was around 200 a night. Now, along with this, this is 200 or 220, I don't remember. 200 or 220. Gosh, I don't remember. It was something 2, 220 a night. And along with that, you're your resort fee is included in that. So that's another thing. If you rent a hotel or another condo place and you go there and you pay, say it might be $100 a night. But when you get there, you have to look at the fine print. If you get there, they're gonna tell you if they have a pool, a jacuzzi, and all of these offered things, they're gonna tell you, okay, ma'am, there's gonna be a $50 resort fee added to the regular nightly rate of 100, so then you end up paying 150. So you have to be careful with that if you just book a regular hotel, they don't tell you that immediately. When I booked this Airbnb, it was already in the fine, it was already in the notes, it said resort fee included, free parking, which is huge. When we went to New York, we went to Cali, guess what? I had to pay for, if I, well not New York, because I didn't rent a car. Uh, I had to pay for taxis in New York. I didn't have to do that here. And when I went to Cali, I rented a car. So that was a rental fee. And I had to pay for parking. So here, Panama, you can kind of walk to everything. And if you drive there, it's wonderful. You save. And you get free parking there at the hotel. 
So you get the resort fee is included. So mind you, in that two hundred dollars, it was two hundred or two twenty. And again, the prices do go up in the season. It could get very expensive. But when I booked it, it was around two hundred two twenty. The resort fee included. The free parking included. Free Wi-Fi has the balcony include. You know the balcony, full kitchen, washer dryer has a pool. It had what? How many pools? It was like connect like three pools connecting it was really cool it looks just it looks like a resort so it had the pools connecting had a huge hot tub and outside they had like a snow cone um shaved ice like little section they had a little bar where you can get a mixed drink and beside that they have like where you could get chicken fingers and french fries nachos burgers by the pool anything like that so you had like a little restaurant you had these little huts and so that it offered all of that for you so that was all, that included any, everything. Um, sorry, I'm just looking at my notes here. But so all of that was included in the 200 to 220, I don't remember, it was 2, 220 at night. All of that's included. Now this particular Airbnb, which again, I will have the link below, has three bedrooms, which is so hard to come by. Now the master bedroom, which had the view, was a king size bed, had a full bathroom, closet, everything, TVs in every room. So in this room, it was um, Kai and I slept. And then they have like this small room. It's a room, but it's a small little room with two bunk beds and a bathroom. Now in the master, it had a bathroom with a shower. And the one with the bunk beds, it just had a bathroom and a mirror and stuff. Uh, sorry, a toilet and a mirror. Didn't have a shower in that one. And there's not a TV in that little one. But then... There's another room right when you walk in that's like another master because it's a king size with a full bathroom. And in that bathroom is where the washer and dryer is. And it has a closet, again, TV, everything. It's huge. My sister ended up meeting us midway. She met us on Wednesday. Her and her daughter came up. So them two, they slept in that bedroom. Um, so it was perfect. And then the living room, the full kitchen, it was, it was amazing. Um, so I just love the amount of space and the couch can fold out to a sleeper sofa So two people could fit on that because usually couches are what a queen or a full-size bed So that's also a bed perfect if you have a big family if you have family four five six Perfect space at one point Wednesday when my sister came we had six people in there Fit perfect and we could have had more we could have more guests with us if we wanted um so that's that. So I spent around two to two twenty a night um, at this hotel, and mind you, there are service fees, there's taxes, there's but all of that was included when you go there. You get a little wristband, and you can go in and out from the beach. You're right on the beach. Again, all of that was included. So let's see. Also, how you can save is like I had said, bring your food or shop when you get there, especially when you have kids. I always plan to eat out dinner one time and that's exactly what we did. We ate out for dinner one time at Pineapple Willie's because that's just like a place to go. You go get a drink, um, even if it's a virgin daiquiri, the kids can get a virgin daiquiri. They have all different color uh, kinds of daiquiris. It's so good. And you can get a little souvenir cup and everything. Um, so we did that, grocery shop, and I we ate out dinner, and I think I got pizza from Hungry Howie's one time. We got pizza for lunch. Other times, if you were on my Instagram, you'll have seen I cooked. I cooked a huge breakfast. I cooked, we cooked, made sandwiches and chips, and I mean, my money, I wanted to spend more on where we were staying and making sure we were on the beach and make sure the pools and the resort and all of that, I wanted that. So the food... I love to eat good, but you can go to Walmart, pick you up some fresh fruit, sandwiches, chips, breakfast items, and make it work. Make We made tacos one night. We made um, tortilla pizzas one night. So you can do anything, y'all, anything. Now, another tip um, is Dollar Tree. I mean, Dollar Tree has some amazing, and buy you the little, um, they have trial size like, uh, a laundry detergent and okay let me tell you some tip things to take with you laundry detergent uh, your fabric softener sheets so you bring both of those because if you're gonna be there for a week or so you're gonna want to wash your towels and um, your beach towels because 
the ho the condo comes with fresh clean linen towels for you when you take a shower and they don't have a whole stock of them they have enough for you you know if you need to wash you can wash um but it does come with towels and washcloths but make sure you bring your shampoo your conditioner soap if you want they do have one little bar soap that they give you in each bathroom but if you want your own soap, again, Dollar Tree. Bring your soap from Dollar Tree. Shampoo, conditioner. Um, always bring a trash bag. I went to Dollar Tree, got a, a thing of trash bags. Um, you will go through more than one trash bag. Usually when you rent a condo, everything has one. So you got your one soap. You got your the trash bag that's in the trash can. You have your one paper towel. Each bathroom has one toilet paper roll, like a whole toilet paper roll. So my thought is if we're a family of four, we're going to probably run through some toilet paper. Grab your four pack from Dollar Tree, toilet paper, trash bags, laundry detergent, soap, even dish soap. It comes with one, um, cause when you leave, you always have to put your dishes in the dishwasher, turn it on. And usually you leave it like that. You take all your trash out when you leave. It has a trash chute there and everything. But you just want to be prepared. I've rented so many condos for beach trips. I kind of know what to bring now. Extra paper, main thing, extra paper towels, paper plates, you know, all of the, all the stuff. Y'all know as moms, all that stuff. Um, also, when you're in the condo at night with teenagers, this was our saving grace. We had so much fun playing Uno. Now, you can't get Uno at Dollar Tree. I think we got these at Walmart. Uh, we did get these at Walmart when we were in Panama City. We got these. I also got a pack of playing cards. Um, they are so cool. They're like gold. I wish I had them with me, but I don't. But they're gold. I got them for cash because it has a dollar bill on it, a hundred dollar bill. But Uno and a regular pack of cards, which you can get a regular pack of cards at Dollar Tree. Teenagers and families, y'all, we love this. Even though you, we argue through this game, we love it. Um, so that was a saving grace. We had so much fun with that. Just sitting around. We ate tacos. We played Uno. It was a good time. Now, I wanted to show you a couple other tips of things to bring on a trip with teenagers that, that we used um, from Dollar Tree. So this one's still in the packet, but we used one already that I have. Another one was open. But these, these see the boys like this kind. It's the Mud Master. It's a tube y'all you can ride the waves with these and everything these are good this is a good product from dollar tree i have another one this is the one we just didn't open we just used one um another thing let me tell you something too your teenager your teenagers will probably say i don't need no toys i don't i don't need no toys i'm too old i'm 17 i'm a grown man <laughs> that's what they'll tell you but guess what mama knows best okay I didn't get them no cheesy toys, but my babies play football. So guess what? Now, every time we've ever been to a pool or to the beach, they love to throw these things. Well, I got this from Dollar Tree. It's a football. These are perfect. It soaks up the water when you're in the water. They play this for hours at the beach and at the pool. So this is a must when you have teenagers, kids. This flow is a must. We don't use that. Guess what else we use from the Dollar Tree? Darn goggles. Yes. Goggles. These are from the Dollar Tree. I got the adult size. They work. They're goggles. And my kids love them. And I paid a darn dollar. I paid a dollar. And these are the goggles that they use. They're still good. They didn't break, I'm sure. I think Kaya's one broke and we tied it up and made it work. I got the pink ones right here. Y'all, th these goggles from Dollar Tree, they worked and we used them. Kids love goggles. They say they don't want it, but you get it for them, they're going to use it. Another thing they they don't want. What, Mom, what are we going to do with the Frisbee? What are you talking about? We don't play with toys. What were they doing? I know you saw it in the video. Playing with a Frisbee in the sand at the beach because it's fun. Frisbee is fun, y'all. And teenagers love to do this. And look, this one's cool. And these are from Dollar Tree. And look at this one. This one's really cool. But yes, so my little tip for Dollar Tree stuff that you can buy your kid. There's so much, y'all, on our trip that came from Dollar Tree that I saved so much money on. Frisbees, teenagers, frisbees, family, you can do anything. Football, yes. Goggles, yes. One of these. And you could get it decorative, but with teenage boys, you know, you gotta have something classic, just black. It don't look fun. So you gotta have the one that don't look fun. <laughs> 
So those. Um, also, we had took this. We didn't pull it out, but this checkerboard, I wanted to play checkers. The only thing about this is only two people can play. So we all played Uno so everybody can play. This is another fun game. You just, I bought it. It was a dollar. We haven't used it yet. But this checkers game, again, you just lay this out. This would be fun. For, you can buy a couple so I guess more people can play. Another great tip. These checkers and it folds and you can put it up. You can even take this to the beach or the pool with you because it's a plastic paper and you can just play it around at the pool when you're hanging out. Um, perfect. Uh, also, of course, sunscreen. Um, sunscreen and aloe. The aloe from Dollar Tree works perfect. Works perfect. Oh, and I will show you this. Now, I didn't get this from Dollar Tree, but I think Walmart has some. Where did it go? Right here. I took some water shots of Kaya under the water. I would say this is a must if you go to the beach. One of these, um, this one I got at one of the stores there, but it's the clear bag that, so you can still take and film pictures from underwater. This is a must. I buy these every time and I forget them when we go and then I buy a new one. So I have that one and I left it in the beach bag for next time. But yes, those are just some Dollar Tree stuff I, I used and y'all, it will save you some money just like grocery shopping at Dollar Tree. Stack up on all your dry goods, your milk, all of that snacky foods for teens because when they're swimming, they're hungry, y'all. They're hungry all the time. And if you're not prepared, they're going to want to go out to eat or they're going to want to order something from the little shack there that has chicken fingers and french fries and all of that stuff. Make your sandwiches, bring them down there in your little cooler, and be good to go. Um, so, yeah. So, I spent around $1,500 on the whole trip. That's the stay, that's food, that's everything. Around $1,500. That's about what I spent. Now, you can definitely check out the link below. I know people wanted information on it. It was an amazing stay. The lady was amazing. It was flawless. Everything was, we went there. It was clean. It was roomy. It was comfortable. The view was amazing. It was just as pictures, like just as the picture stated, it was a wonderful, wonderful time. I will definitely be going back there. Definitely. Because um, that was definitely worth it. And it was just stunning. So I hope you guys check it out if you're looking for a beach place or if you just needed some tips about how to, you know, stretch your dollar. Now, some people might not have a budget of $1,500. I completely understand. That hasn't always been my budget. I've went to the beach and didn't stay on the beach. If you want, a, if you want your budget to be smaller, find a hotel that's off the beach a little bit where you have to walk across the street and get to the ocean. Uh, another place we stayed, we stayed a couple years ago. See, and another reason we, I spent a little more on this trip, last year we were supposed to go to the beach, but we didn't get to go. When we went to Cali, we got to see the beach a little bit, but it was cold then. We didn't get to like go to the beach and hang out like a beach summer trip. We didn't go last year. So this is kind of like our two years into one. We kind of made it a nice, a nice little trip. Um, but yes, for four people, to me, that was a good that was a good price for four people. We, the, I mean, the gas was cheap. It was just amazing altogether. The lady was wonderful that we rented from. As I can't talk highly enough. It was perfect. The um, it, everything was great. Um, but they were very, very busy at the beach, and a lot of people were there. So, um, if you do go this summer. Look forward to crowds because everybody was tired of being in their house and coming out. So, so yes. Um, oh, let me show you these. I forgot I have this here. So, I want to show you some souvenirs. When I go, you guys know me in souvenirs. When I go places, we went to the this place called Surf Style, Surf Style. If you ever go there, you'll hear this song in the store. Surf Style, Surf Style. But, okay. So, I usually get shirts. Uh, well, one thing. I wanted to get another keychain that had the oh gosh license plate like I've gotten in Cali in New York Panama City didn't have any of that so I couldn't get that and they didn't have like a hat like that they have beach attire stuff so I just got beach stuff like I do every time I go well the first thing I got you guys know I had to get me a coffee mug so I got a Panama City I love these like clay looking coffee mugs they're so pretty so I got this clay one I thought it was I thought it was so cute. I love the colors. Also got several shirts. 
This is the, I love this. This is like a tie-dye, but like a green tie-dye. And it says Panama City, says Gulf Coast Outfitters, Panama City, Florida, Beach, Stay Salty. I love it. And the back has this big old thing right there. I paid $14 for this shirt. And I get it extra big. But I love, I love the, how they tie-dyed that. Love it. I got this shirt, which I love. Kaya got a shirt just like this also. Look at this. All these are tie-dye, by the way, because tie-dye is back in. But look how cute. It has the whole Panama and it says surf style panama city beach and it's got the little pineapple it's so cute i love it this shirt was doesn't have a price 17. so this shirt was 17. then i got this one from again i get a shirt every year from pineapple willies and i didn't get one last year this is my pineapple willies and if you ever see these shirts you'll know it's literally right beside right beside the condo uh the shores of panama so if you want to look it up, it's called the Shores of Panama. And the lady that I rented the condo, she has six other condos in the same area. So definitely check them out. Um, definitely check out the link and you may see, what else do I have in here? Oh, I got a couple rings. I forgot about these. Look at these cute little rings I got. I totally forgot I had these and they were in here. This is so pretty y'all. It's a pink. I don't know if you can see it. And this is like a light green. This green would be pretty with this green shirt. It's like the same green look. Okay, so that is it. That's my little souvenirs. The kids each got shirts and gosh, Kai got anklets and I got an anklet too. Anklets and rings and necklaces and gosh, cause you know the little beach stores, they, everything's not expensive. Um. But that is it. I hope you guys, I hope this helped. I hope it helped somebody booking. Again, all the information will be below. The condo is called Shores of Panama. So even if you rent any room in there, it would be nice. But if you want the exact one that I rented, look at the link below. She could be kind of booked. Um, you can always message her, message her on Airbnb. Let her know that Thrifty Tiffany sent you also. I told her that I made a video and, uh, you know, sent her the link. So if you want, just tell her Thrifty Tiffany sent you. And um, if you go, I hope you enjoy it just as much as we did. We absolutely loved it. And I will definitely be going back. And just check prices throughout the year. Um, I'm sure during downtime, it's even cheaper. So you can even check it out in downtime if you don't want to go right now when prices are getting higher. Uh, but she does have other units. So definitely ask her, send her a message. Hey, do you have another unit that's available for your time maybe you never know but that is it and i hope this helped you guys and i love you guys so much and make sure you are liked make sure you like comment and subscribe love you guys so much bye